Now for this example, we've got a table that is represented the right, and we've got a 2D array that represents it. So this 2D array represents the table that's at the top, right there, on the right side. Now, it says use the above array to create an algorithm that check if a grade has been added or not. So we've got Andy with no grade, we've got Kim with no grade, and Tom with no grades. Now, what we need to do now is we need to loop through that array. So for row in range from 0 to 5, because we've got four, five items in here. So five rows. Now, we need to create an if statement. So if grades, which is the array name, row, which is the first row, which is going to be this, which contains Tom and a blank space, 1. Now, 1 will check this second one. It will not check Tom. It will check this empty space. It will check if it's empty. Now, if it's empty, we need to display that it does not have a grade. Now, once we display that it does not have a grade, we need to display, we need to ask them for to enter a grade. So score, and then we need to ask them to enter a grade for that specific person, which is Tom. Then we need to set the grade, which is row zero, because row starts with zero, then it increments to one, so it will check Mark next, then it will check Kim, and so on. But now row, which is zero, and then one, column one, this one is now set to the score, whatever the user just entered here. And then we display the new grade. So we're going to say grade row zero, which is Tom, has a grade of, and then the new grade that have just been entered. Now we put otherwise, so if grade row one is not empty, so if this is not empty, or this is not empty, and so on, so for mark it will not, uh, it will go to the else for mark because it already has a grade. It will display has a grade of, so grade zero, which is mark, has a grade of row one which is B. So we'll go to this and it will display it. Now when I run it on the screen, it will say Tom does not have a grade, enter grade for Tom, say B. Then Tom has a grade B, Mark has a grade B already, so we don't need to enter anything for him. Kim does not have a grade, so we need to enter a grade for Kim, let's say D. Andy does, uh, Andy does not have a grade, but it says Sam has a grade of C, so let's put an A for Andy. And that's the whole program.